Hey everyone, Fuseman coming at you. Just wanted to do a very quick video to show you how you can integrate the Fuse VR authentication APIs, which are powered by Morales, and integrate that with the Morales Unity SDK. The really the motivation here is actually kind of from a message I got on Discord, which highlighted a use case where let's say you want to listen for real-time events from a smart contract. You would then need to be able to integrate with the Morales SDK for a user and then listen in for those types of events that are kind of streamed in. And you can use that using the Morales SDK, but you still might want to do the authentication with the Fuse VR API. So in this video, I'm just going to show you a very quick setup for both setting up Morales, setting up Fuse VR and hooking them together in a very small script. And we'll walk through a demo. So hopefully that, that sets up the motivation and let's go ahead and dive into Unity. So we have a very simple project here, one with the Morales SDK imported. And then also we have the Fuse VR SDK imported by the package manager. Let me show you where you can get both of these on GitHub because likely in a year from now, a lot of these steps might change, but if you go to the readmes for each of these resources, you'll be able to find them very quick. So one for the crypto APIs, just go to cryptofusebr.com just to learn a little bit more about these. We'll touch basically on the APIs in just a second. For FuseVR's Web3 Unity SDK for the email authentication, you can go ahead and head to this link that which will be down in the description below. And going into the setup, you can see it's just a matter of copying and pasting in the URL into your package manager via the package manager, add package from Git URL. For Morales, uh, you'll have their Ethereum Unity boilerplate and you can similarly head to their quick start to figure out how to set things up. But from a really simplistic standpoint, if you just head over to the latest release, you can go ahead and copy their Unity package, drag that into your project. So those are the two resources that we are taking a look at. And let's then go ahead, bring up Unity. I've gone ahead and put a very simple script together that we'll go ahead and take a look at, which highlights basically everything that you need to go ahead and integrate Unity with Morale. So there's really two steps to this. So the first one is you can see we have the Web3 APIs imported in from Morales and we have the Fuse VR web. So Fuse VR, it's as we've shown in several videos in the past, it's as simple as basically calling your login function here. That's gonna fire off sending an email. This is gonna be subject to change based on the administrative dashboard panel that's currently being worked on that allow you to set up and manage apps. But for now, uh, it's really as simple as calling a login function to shoot off an email and then go ahead and authenticate by the browser, which we'll show in the demo. The secondary part is around Morales. So with Morales, what we're gonna be specifically focusing in on is their Web3 APIs. And the reason for the Web3 APIs is with that, it's very straightforward for just given an authenticated address, how can you go ahead and call the APIs and get back the information? There's a secondary step with Morales where if you wanna set up your own server and authenticate a user, and log them in and then run kind of data specific workloads based on your specific game and application, you can do that. That requires logging in a user. And unfortunately, I haven't figured out a good way to override that functionality and make it so that I can use basically the Fuse VR authentication as the authentication mechanism for Morales. If anyone has suggestions for the Morales team, I'd be happy to chat and figure that out. But for simplicity's sake, let's just assume that you have an authenticated user from Fuse VR and you want to go ahead and just get some extra info from that. So in that case, we're basically going to be calling the Morales APIs and SDKs. The native balance here is one of those. And more specifically, if you go into your Morales dashboard, which you need to be logged in to see, you'll have this list of Morales Web3 APIs. So there's a bunch of different APIs here from events to just simple block information, address events, things like address NFT are actually the various versions, basically the original version, I should say, of the APIs that are listed here for like, say, getting NFTs. I'm basically literally wrapping around the Morales APIs and just exposing them here as part of the Fused VR authentication. But from a practical standpoint, these are basically identical. And if you want to call any of this functionality, you can basically do so using the Morales Unity SDK. The way that works is primarily, so if we go back into Visual Studios, on this Morales object, which is a Web3 API client, we can call for any of the sections, so account or DeFi or native or token, you have 
any of those sections. So in this case, we're looking at account and then you have a specific API for that account. So account get native balance. If we go back here, so it's under the account section, there should be a balance, I believe. Yeah, get gets native balance. So this get native balance is mapped to balance here. So basically we're doing the identical functionality in Unity by using that function to call this API. So we have, we call get native balance. We pass in the address that has been authenticated with Fused VR, we pass in the chain that we want. So let's say hypothetically ETH, we wait for that and then we go ahead and put it out. But you could do this for any of the APIs. And I think that's the simplicity and the beauty of this, right? We now have an authenticated wallet address. So let's go ahead and call these APIs, which are all exposed here on this Web3 API client object. And that has been set up. You need to kind of do your own setup based on a Web3 API key. Now, the reason I have not plugged that in here just yet is because if I scroll up, you can get that by copying the API key by clicking Alt here. I do not know of a way to reset this API key. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now that we have kind of explained the functionality is copy the API key, set, copy that into the script, and then we'll run the demo. The, the, the only challenging part is I can't show this API key because I don't want it to be compromised from in any fashion. But why don't I go ahead and set, the, set up the demo and then we'll walk through it. Okay, I've gone ahead and copied the API key. There's really nothing in this scene other than the script that we have, which runs on start. So let me go ahead and click run. That's going to call the FuseVR login function. And that's going to shoot an email to the email that I listed in the login field. Uh, that happens to be this temporary email address just for the purposes of this demo. We'll go ahead, click the magic link, click verify email. It's going to trigger MetaMask to open up and I can choose what account I want to log in with. Let's go ahead and connect. That's going to generate a random message which we will then go ahead and sign with our MetaMask. That gets sent to the server, validated, and then we'll get back a token that then represents our actual authentication to Fused VR. With this token, we could actually call any of these APIs if we wanted to. So uh, I don't think I can copy off the alerts, but that's fine. But at this point, we have basically been authenticated both on this web browser, but also here within our sample scene in Unity. And you can now see that once I logged in, I then got the native balance from our script and got the balance associated with the account that I authenticated. I'm gonna run this again with the second dummy account that I have set up. So this one has 0 0.1, 0 0.01 or something ETH on as, as just test, test money. We have generated the email again, since I went ahead and click play, which runs on start. Go ahead, click verify here. This time I'm going to do it on the one with zero just to illustrate the point. Let's go ahead, click authenticate. Let's go ahead, sign. And you can see here now we have zero Ethereum associated with the second wallet that we assigned in. So two different examples, again, kind of depends on the wallet that you go ahead and log in with. We'll call the native balance. With that native balance, we can basically read the state, right? So that's just one example. Again, you can call any of these APIs with a logged in address. And you know, the reason that this is important fundamentally is you know that this is a verified user who is authenticated with Fused VR, signed a message and proven that they are who they say they are, which means you can trust that they have the NFTs that they say they have, they have the tokens that they say they have. They have the balance that they say they have. And broadly, you can read in even events associated with that user, right? If you want to say call events or functions, whatever, right? You have that ability to trust that this is who they say they are. And thus the state of their address can be trusted as well, which means that you can act on, on that accordion. So that's really the power of putting this together. I think hopefully in the future, if there's a way to actually integrate this with the login functionality, which I'm, I'm open to learning a little bit more about, you could you could add a lot more power to it. I think that'll wrap that up here. Hopefully you found this helpful for, for getting started with both Morales and Fused VR. Again, if you have questions, definitely let me know down in the comments below, or you can reach out on Discord. Happy to chat in both places as well. But I think I'll leave that here for now. So thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. It's been Fused Man and I'm signing out.